What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Joe Easy. All right, so it is 11.22 in the morning and we finished our breakfast shift with a successful shift, making $60 in three hours. So we made $20 an hour. And if you wanna see that video, it'll be in the description down below. But we, ha we had an amazing strategy, which we will continue throughout the day for our, our lunch shift. The strategy was to do Instacart, DoorDash, and Uber Eats, to not take any of the Instacart orders that were huge orders. If it's an Instacart order that is a quick order, then we will take it, but we're not gonna take huge grocery orders we're gonna leave that for the professionals and also our parameter that we have been using has been one dollar and fifty cents per mile so we cannot accept any orders that is paying less than a dollar fifty per mile or less than five dollars so we are accepting only orders minimum five dollars and that pays a dollar and fifty per mile our goal for the day is to make hundred and fifty dollars so right now we're at sixty dollars and we need to make hundred and fifty dollars that is our goal and to do that we need to make another 90 bucks whether we make 50 or 60 dollars we don't have to make the 90 dollars right now because we will do a dinner shift if we don't make it to the 90 dollars but if we make 90 dollars now then we should be good but let's clock in it's 11 25 let's clock in at 11 30 so officially clock in at 11 30 and let's get started but before we start don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the youtube world and if you like this video at the end just subscribe and now let's get started. All right, guys, the time is 11.41 in the morning and I've been avoiding this the whole day. Well, the whole day, the whole morning, uh, these Halloween stores because it could be chaotic. Everything could be out of stock. It's just like going to Christmas shopping, um, you know, in a Christmas store and everything, nothing's there. But let's just try this. It's an $11 order for eight miles. And the only reason why I accepted the order is because it's going eight miles towards a direction where there's a lot of Publix areas. There's a lot of grocery stores. So I could go over there, do the order, and then on the way back, um, in increase my chances of getting more orders. So let's just get this order out of the way. It's only for one item. So if that one item is out of stock, then, then I have the worst luck in the world, but let's just get this order started for one item. Let's hope we have it. All right, let's go ahead and cancel this because of this line. Uh, let's cancel this order because of the line. I'm not gonna wait in line for $11. I guess we tried guys, we tried. Ladies and gentlemen, we tried, but I'm not going to wait in that big line for $11 and eight miles. For it to take me what an hour an hour and a half so let's just cancel the order unfortunately i hate to do that to the customer but um let's just cancel it and get back on the other apps all right ladies and gentlemen unfortunately we were super picky picking orders we declined a few orders that we should have accepted because we're being too picky and we were letting our head get to us but you know what it's okay we didn't do anything for 30 minutes we clocked in at 11 30 and it's 12 04 right now so we were 30 minutes while doing anything but we are going to keep those 30 minutes part of the hourly wage we're gonna say that we worked from 11 30 to 12 and we accepted a petco order for 24 units is two it was it's two different cans but 24 units in total so it's two cans peco 13 dollars going three miles so let's go pick it up right now all right we made it finally let's go get this uh peco order it's already like five to ten minutes in so our hourly wage is getting smaller and smaller look at this kitty cat look at this kitty cat this one right here just chilling hey buddy let's go Okay, so I didn't record any of this interaction because I was so pissed. I, I couldn't think straight. It was 24 items. I was able to get 12 cans, but the other cans was out of stock. And the card declined because I told the lady that I'm bringing up 12, 24 cans, but it was really 12. So it was like the card declined because the, the total was more than expected. And it was just, it was just a pain in the booty. And I realized in the end, my mistake, I don't know what was going on. I guess I was so upset that um, I, I was 30 minutes without doing any orders and I'm doing this one order and then the traffic and this and that and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? I didn't record anything. Let's just get this delivered. It's been probably an hour already. It's, it's one o'clock. It's 12.58 p.m. It's one o'clock. 
and we started this order probably at 12 so an hour for 13 dollars is probably gonna be a lot less because i only got this customer half the order if you think about it i got them 12 cans instead of 24. so let's just stop thinking about it let's deliver let's get the one star rating let's get the tip reduced or removed and let's just continue it's one o'clock we already miss or we missed most of the lunch shift already so we have to get our get our head together let's go guess who didn't provide a gate code yep you guessed it oh man this is the worst order i have done in forever oh my god i'm wasting all this time all this lunch time that could be doing deliver uh food deliveries i just want this to end please how am i gonna make 150 like this all right sorry for the rant let's go guys so we have completed that order already it's 1 15 p.m for uh it was for 13 dollars, but who knows it might be for a lot less i'm so mad right now but as i delivered this i got a doordash order for six dollars and 25 cents going 3.3 miles thank goodness there was no rest time between deliveries or between you know between orders let's just let's try to make it up guys we'll see how much we could do we'll try to make it up now and let's be let's be happy because happiness is key happiness is key we have to be as happy as we can even during tough times even if it doesn't seem like everything's going your way we have to try to be as positive as possible so let's go okay so i just checked the last instacart order and it paid us nine dollars and fifty cents versus thirteen dollars um that is so annoying it's so stressful oh my goodness let's just forget it ever happened and continue all right panera bread here we come let's be positive guys let's be positive please we don't want our day to be ruined let's go all right we got our order right here and that's it it was it was already ready let's go deliver quick make it this up all right guys the time is 1 47 p.m and we just completed the six dollar order for three miles and i don't know how much we're at right now but i'm gonna do the math and let's see if we could just stop now and continue for the the dinner shift because nothing right now is going my way just everything's going wrong right now so i think it's better just to relax and reset and come back for dinner time but we'll see all right, the time is 2.04 p.m. And I was about to go charge the car so that I could be ready for the night shift, but I accepted an order going to the charger. So it's an $8.75 order. And the order said 8.2 miles, but uh, the the little map was, was, was way wrong, but it's really five miles. So it's $8.75 for, 5.4 miles which exceeds the one dollar and fifty cent parameter that we have set forth so let's go get this order let's deliver this charge and then let's recharge our bodies for tonight because this shift has been super terrible so far really really bad and i'm glad i'm getting it all on video because this is stuff that you're gonna have to deal with if you want to do this part-time or if you want to do it full-time you know it's gonna be a lot more stressful right now i'm stressed out but i don't have to rely on this for income but you know if you do this full time the stress factor is gonna multiply by two or three times and that's not good for mental health so let's get this order let's get it delivered let's get my car charged let's go home let's recharge the brain and then we'll finish off the 150 tonight okay i got the order secured right here order secured all right let's go deliver this all right so this is the building i have to deliver to it's one of those fancy buildings that have secure uh, unnecessary security everywhere uh let's um let's see if we could get this delivered let's see let's see what happens all right guys it is 244 we just completed that last delivery for eight dollars and 75 cents we didn't make any more uh we finished it at 2 30 p.m so we are at 87 dollars and 94 cents for the day and we need 150 dollars to complete our goal so we need 62 dollars remaining which i will do those 62 dollars 
for the dinner shift, but let's clock out here. We worked for three hours from 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. That's three hours plus three hours in the morning. If we put everything together between breakfast and lunch, we made $87.94 for six hours of work, which is like $13 an hour, which our hourly rate lowered by a lot doing this shift. We only made 28 bucks. We made nine fifty one in Instacart, and we made fifteen dollars in DoorDash plus four dollars that four dollar bonus. So basically, we made twenty eight dollars and fifty one cents in three hours of work in the lunch shift only, which is terrible, super super terrible. But I'm not gonna get my hopes down. I'm not gonna get depressed. Uh, we will make the sixty two dollars in the nighttime. We will make it, guys. So stay tuned, and we will be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is 6.06 .06 p.m. Let's start the dinner shift. Let's try to make $62. And I took a nice nap, so I'm nice and rested. Let's start making some money again. And yes, I have my glasses on. Ladies and gentlemen, we just accepted our first order of the night. It is 6.15 p.m. And the order is for $7, going 2.9 miles. All right, we got our order right here. It's uh, some food and and two drinks. Let's close this up, secure it, and deliver. Here we go again with the gate code issue. Here we go again with the gate code issue. What's so hard about putting a gate code in the instructions? What's the secret? Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 6.33 p.m. and we just completed our $7 order going 2.9 miles, which thankfully it ballooned to 11.75. We've been waiting for an order like this to be higher than the expected total. Thank goodness we started off our night good. It is finally going to end good our lunch shift was terrible so we needed this boost eleven dollars 75 cents for 2.9 miles let's hope the good luck continues i know it's halloween weekend and everything is bad luck because of halloween but let's have hope that we will make our 150 dollars for the day let's go guys 11.75 so far 